Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt with CF Pro Tools and in this video we are going to explore a few different ways that you can add shipping items or shipping line items to your products, to your order pages inside of ClickFunnels. All right, so uh, a few different things that you can do. Uh, we, we're going to try to keep this clean. We're going to try to keep this um, quick and we're going to try to just give you some real good info on how you can add some line items and recoup some, some shipping costs domestically and even internationally if you're shipping goods, physical goods, maybe maybe you have an e-com business. We're gonna show you how to do that and how to send that over to uh, uh, into your bank account so you can make a little extra money. I'm gonna go to a couple of different funnels here and just kind of give you guys some ideas. The number one way to, um, really the number one way to do this, to set this up, if I were gonna add a product, uh, it would be, and this is real clean, just come in, set up your Stripe product, and we're gonna give it a name, and we're just gonna include the shipping. Um, my cool free book plus shipping, okay? And then put, maybe you wanna charge uh, whatever your book is, $9.97, whatever it is. That money, that charge right there is to include the book so that covers down on your marketing costs the cost of the book book production um, and it costs and the shipping and handling fees so that's the easiest way to handle that but if you want to line item that out if you want to break that out and say hey my book is free free book we have like some, you know, I'm not gonna go into that. We have some other uh, some other videos that you can watch on how to set up a free plus book shipping thing. Um, I'll try to remember to put a card up here so that you guys can click on that. Now, what if you don't wanna do the uh, clean shipping and just have it all in one cool little price line item and you wanna break that out um, or you wanna ship uh, internationally? You could actually use this same method here. Um, so just to keep the numbers easy here, you might have, $10, $10 price display override. So uh, let me put the dollar sign in there like that. Um, so we do also have an add-on at CF Pro Tools. So if you're a CF Pro Tools user, um, you can come over and use that. And it is called International Product Swapper. So check that out when you get a chance. International Product Swapper allows you to add in a product ID for domestic and a product ID for international. So basically you have the same product uh, once and twice and um, you you might for your domestic you might have uh, a $10 shipping price and then on your international you might have a $20 shipping price right so what it does is depending on the country that they put in over here um, okay so you can select maybe the United States is your domestic country everything else would be considered international okay so if they put in the United States it's gonna show them the $10 version of that product. It's gonna show them the $10 version. If they put in Mexico or the UK or Australia or even Canada, then it's gonna come up with the international option here. Real clean, real looks, looks real good. The shipping would be included in the one price. So there's only one line item per, uh, per product there. So real good, real clean, real easy. And that's not one of our most known known about add-ons at CF Pro Tools, so definitely go check that out. Let's look at another option here, and that is the, let's see if I go to create new, search for keyword, and just type in international. All right, so you could do international uh, shipping, which is this one here, probably one of the most basic ones that gets used, and this one uh, basically works the exact same way, only it doesn't swap those out. So. This is one where you would create two different line items, select your uh, domestic country, works the same way there, and then you have your domestic product where you're gonna put in a, uh, a domestic product there, and then you're gonna have a different product ID for your international product. Actually, this, I'm sorry, this would probably be the same product ID. All right, so I'll just make sure that that's the same, even though they're completely fake numbers, but each one's gonna have a different shipping product ID. So you're gonna have uh, maybe a $10 shipping fee for domestic and a $20 shipping product ID that you set up for the international, okay? Again, real clean, real simple. If you have different products and you want to make, you can actually add in different product groups. So you could actually have different products and assign a different shipping product 
to each one of those. Okay, so real fun, real simple, real easy, uh, and just, you know, that allows you to break down those costs so you can kind of pull those out individually and say, look, you're only paying X amount for this book. You're only paying X amount for this uh, this this blanket or whatever it is that they're buying, right? And then shows them that they're paying another X amount for shipping, okay? So that's how that add-on works. Uh, we also have, let's go back in here, search by keyword, international, international forced, see if I can find that one. International forced shipping, which is this one here, works similarly in the same manner, um, but it's going to force a shipping. This one is not per product. So this one is just, hey, your cart is going to get, it doesn't matter whether you're domestic or shipping, it doesn't matter what you chose, you're going to get a shipping fee associated with your cart. So if you have products that they might buy that are digital only, this might not be the option for you. But if you all you have is digital products and you just want to put a flat fee shipping on there, this one probably work out great for you. So maybe your domestic country is United Kingdom. Take your domestic product ID, stick it in there, and your international product ID, stick it in there. Of course, those will be two different product IDs. Just make sure you set that up, create the add-on, put that on your page, and make sure that you have different products set up for each of these. Now, you have another way to break out those line items, right? So hopefully you guys are following along with this. Uh, I just wanna make sure that you guys have all the different, uh, the many different uses to, to do this, to set this up. So um, we have another couple that you might be able to use, and that is uh, just simply group products. If you maybe you only wanna ship uh, with one shipping fee and you don't wanna break out the international part of that, right? You can always use group products or OTO group products on an OTO page. So you can use those and just group a product ID with another product ID. It works uh, very much like the international shipping add-on that we talked about, only you can't break it down into domestic and international. Um, so you've got these two that'll work really well for that. Um, and another one, forced products. You've got forced products here that you could use there and we already talked about international force products, which is gonna allow you to break down that force product. Whichever one you wanna blanket cover for all of your shipping fees, um, you could do, this one's good for international, um, so you could have a domestic and international, and then you've got force products, which would be good probably just for one blanket overall shipping. It doesn't matter where it's going, unless you wanna lock it down to one country, okay? So, those are some really good ideas, and I'm gonna give you guys one last bonus one. If you guys ship only in country, like in the United States, there's also Conus Shipping, which is another add-on that can be used. This allows you to do the same thing, only keep it inside of the United States. Of course, create the add-on and upload those, install those correctly the way that they should be in the footer code area. Of course, each one of those add-ons have their own tutorials. Um, if you do need to check this out and you do want to implement one of these cool ideas, make sure to check out cfprotools.com uh, and uh, check out the tutorials for each one of these. You can get a free account. You can get in and check out the tutorial videos for free. Um, even if it's a VIP uh, next level add-on tutorial, okay? So you don't have to have a paid account right up front to see what we have and to see how it works. Okay, so go check that out um, and make the best out of your week and your weekend. I'll see you guys later this week, hopefully, with some new videos. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave your comments down in the comments area, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and see you later.